Hello! Uh, just wanted to do a little unboxing video of a cool package I got in the mail today. It's from uh, Relapse Records. It's a grab bag, like a random box of CDs. They had a deal going, 15 CDs for 20 bucks. But with shipping, because I live in Canada, the shipping <laughs> was more than 20 bucks. So the total came out to 4802 So for 15 CDs, that's just over three bucks a CD. I've never ordered a grab bag from Relapse Records before, but I've ordered quite a few like individual CDs from Relapse. And I have to say they're my favorite record label. They put out so many of my favorite albums by my favorite bands like Mastodon, Neurosis, On Fire, stuff like that. So before I open it up, um, I'm expecting to get probably one or two doubles like CDs that I already have I'm expecting to get one or two uh, gems like stuff that is just classic relapse uh, material I'm expecting to get uh, quite a few duds as well but that's the joy of opening up a grab bag of random CDs so I'm sure I'm gonna get my money's worth no matter what so open it up This came, uh, I think, yesterday, and I've been waiting like more than a day to open it up now. Ooh, and I think it's all from Relapse Records itself. Oh, paper. All oh, that paper I've always wanted. And bubble wrap! <laughs> okay. First one, Boris with Mersbo. Boris is uh, like a sludge noise band from Japan and Mersbo, I don't know, I've heard of that group, I don't know if, like, if it's like one uh, person or a group, but here's Boris with Mersbo, Gensho. Next one is Zoroaster or Zoroaster, distributed in North America by Southern Lord, nice. Uh, looks to be called uh, just self-titled. It's got four songs on it: Mons Venus, Bullwhip, Honey, and Salt, and Defile. Cool, and they're like more sludgy, doomy stuff. That's a good good haul. Number three: Davy Allen and Joel Grind. Uh can't tell what the CD is called, but going by the cover, it looks like comic book horror sci-fi stuff. I don't know, it should, should be interesting. Next one. Exalted, We Are the Grim Throng. Nice. I've heard of these guys, Exalted. I have no idea what they sound like. Uh, Going by the cover, probably blackened. Well, it says blasting black thrash metal madness from Chicago. Bang your head. That I will do. Exalted. Next one. True Widow. Aval Gear. True Widow. Aval Gear. This is on Relapse Records. Uh, doesn't say what it sounds like, but uh, again, going by the cover, I'm going to guess some sort of blackened thrash. <laughs> Alright. Next one. Ringworm. Snake Church. It's Ringworm. Another Relapse album from 2016, so just last year. Ringworm, I think, is kind of uh, sludgy black metal again maybe I've heard of them definitely but I haven't listened to them next one is I the Zaster X-A-S-T-H-U-R looks like it's uh, Leviathan I think that's how you pronounce the band name Zaster I've definitely heard of them oh no it looks like it's a split between Zaster and Leviathan. Cool, cool. Yeah. 
Next we got Nil, or N-I-L. Distributed in North America by Southern Lord. Another Southern Lord album. Uh, again, looks to be... Well, if it's Southern Lord, they usually put out like more doomy, uh, droney stuff. So it should be good. Oh, next, I recognize this one. Dillinger Escape Plan. Iron Works. I have this one already. This one, uh, it's my first Dillinger Escape Plan album that I got. Uh, one of my favorite songs is Horse Hunter. The 12th track out of 13. It's got, uh, Brent Hines from Mastodon, uh, contributing guest vocals on it. This is, a uh, Head scratcher, head banger of an album. It's good stuff. Next, we got Inter Arma. Seth, I'm looking at you, buddy. <laughs> I called it Paradise Gallows. Inter Arma, look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Just talking with a buddy at work about uh, about this and how it'd be cool if I got an Inter Arma CD. And sure enough, Inter Arma. Yeah, Paradise Gallows. And uh, from what I've heard, uh, the like mid-period neurosis, and I love mid-period neurosis, so that's good shit. Next up, Gloria Diob. Can't even pronounce that. Gloria Dioboli. Uh, album is Gate to Sheol. That's it. That looks like black metal as fuck. Can't even read the record label. It's uh, Katy Command. All right. Next up, we got Hold Serpent or Mold Serpent. Looks like Mold Serpent on Relapse again. Now this has got to be black metal. Cool. The album leaf between waves for promotional use only, no resale. Ha, huh, so this might be a, a rare album. I've heard of the album leaf. Uh, the reviews on the back say the innovation of a singular and brilliant mind. The album leaf crafts beats to represent the mechanisms of memory. Delicate and full of space and expansive, wistful instrumentation. So that's good. I like uh, I like instrumental rock and metal. So this might be right up an alley. It's good shit. Two more to go. Uh, Bedamon, Child of Darkness from the original Master Tapes. Bedamon. And it looks like it's got one of the girls, like one of the twins from uh, The Shining on the cover. But it's not because she's by herself. <laughs> And there's twins. Bedamon. I've heard of these guys. Bobby Leepling. Oh, he's the uh, vocalist for Pentagram. He's in this. Recorded 1973 to 74. Underground cult sessions unearthed, enhanced, and ear splitting. Oh, nice. So this is like proto metal, probably. Looking forward to that. And last one, besides the. Uh, I think my buddy and I, or my buddy uh, Seth and I were talking about this too. Numbskull. <laughs> Ritually abused. Sounding like a demonic blend of possessed and slayer. Ritually abused sounds as fresh and relevant today as it did when it was first released over 25 years ago. Fully remastered and featuring an exclusive bonus track. Sweet. Recommended if you like Death, Dark Angel, Razor. Morbid Saint, Sacrifice, Rigor Mortis, Possessed, and Slayer. Cool. That sounds like a classic right there. Numbskull, Ritually Abused. So that's it. That should be 15 CDs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so I think I was right. I got the one CD that I have already. Dillinger Escape Plan. And, uh... Gotta be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I thought I'd get like more bands that I've heard of, but I guess that's a good thing because uh, there's lots of music to explore. And a lot of these CDs are like without the the wrapping. 
like the uh, the cellophane wrap, which leads me to believe that they're used. And if I knew that they were used, I probably wouldn't have bought them, but whatever. I'm just going to open up one that's already... That looks to be in good condition. All right, cool. Yeah, 15 CDs, 43 bucks, a bit more than 3 bucks a CD. I'd say it's still a good deal, it's still a good deal. Yeah. Would I do it again? Probably not. But I'm glad I did it, because I've always wanted to do it. There it is. Yeah, so, uh, it's important to buy physical media, I think, as opposed to, to uh, torrenting it or downloading it. Because yeah, you want to like support the the record labels. You want to support the bands, especially. Uh, if uh, if you go to a lot of shows, buy buy their merch there, buy their CDs and buy their T-shirts. Support the bands because it's important. It's important to get paid for your uh, creative endeavors. It shows people that you care. So thanks for watching, Nema.